so currently at this moment, I have a little one that is seven weeks old, which means I am seven weeks postpartum. Now, obviously, you know, trying to get pregnant for our family has been a challenge. Staying pregnant for our family has been a challenge, but we're so thankful that we were able to welcome our second son into this world, baby Harrison. And, you know, when you're pregnant, at least for me, I have never felt more beautiful. Like I love the belly bump because I can wear the most form fitting things and rock that body and I feel so confident and everyone tells you how cute you look and oh you're just glowing and it's so amazing and they celebrate your bump right and then when the baby comes out your bump deflates and so you're left with a looser belly and maybe some stretch marks and you know I think for a lot of us it kind of rocks our confidence and you get the pressure from some society of like when are you gonna bounce back and in fact I even had someone write me like oh isn't it time you start bouncing back and I minorly wanted to punch her in the face, so just naturally I blocked her, bless and release. But the thing is, like, you know, there's so much pressure to get the body back that you had before. Well, this is the deal. I can't get that body back because I'm not the same person that I was before I had these babies. And you work so dang hard to make this baby and to grow this little human, and you're celebrated that whole time. And then as soon as the baby comes out, it's like, what happens now? When are you gonna lose the weight? When are you gonna get back in shape? What about your pre-baby body? My pre-baby body is gone. And you know, I am learning right now to embrace this space that I'm in. Um, When I had Henry, our first son, I remember I felt so much pressure and I was really hard on myself and I would just look in the mirror every day and almost like disgusted, like, ugh, I felt so bad. And even there's been moments where I like felt guilty. I'm like, my husband deserves more than this. But guess what? He tells me I'm the most beautiful woman he's ever seen in the world. And he has never put any pressure on me to lose weight. It's always on me. So with the second pregnancy, I decided I'm not going to focus on losing weight. I'm not going to focus on that. What I'm going to focus on is loving myself, granting myself grace every single day, knowing that I went through one heck of a journey to be where I'm at right now, and then letting my body do what it's naturally supposed to do eventually. So eventually meaning now I'm ready to think of food as fuel in the beginning, to be totally honest newborns are hard. I might drink a little extra cocktails than I should. I'm not making great food choices. And while it's fun for a while, I don't feel as good when I don't eat well. So I have made the intentional choice to eat better, right? Think of food as fuel, um, lean proteins, you know, whole grains, lots of veggies, lots of water, um, limit the wine, the cocktails, uh, it's, you know, it's a good choice. And then also movement, get regular movement in my body. So instead of focusing on the number on a scale this time, I'm just focusing focusing on feeling good, having regular movement, using food as fuel. And um, I'm also focusing on getting fit and strong, feeling great so I can chase my little ones all around the house. So now that I've got my mindset dialed, it brings me to the next part, which is how the heck do I dress this new body of mine? Because yes, eventually I'm going to change and I will lose some weight and, you know, firm up a bit, but that's not happening right now. And I don't want to run out and buy new clothes. And what happened was I had a luxury listing appointment that came up and it was about a $2 million house. So I walked into my closet and I immediately just felt defeated. There was nothing in my closet that I looked at and I thought, that's it. I'm going to feel confident. I mean, I tried a few things on and to be honest, couldn't even get them over my thigh. Like things have changed. Things have grown. Just part of the journey, right? And yet, how could I feel confident? What could I do? So I had a little bit of a clothing journey. And I thought what I would do is take you along for the ride because I'm sure some of you have gone through the same exact thing. And I tried on three different outfits and finally found them that I could rock. So I thought I'd share it with you. Take a look. Option one. All right, so my thought was, you know, I'm not fitting in my clothes as well. I'm just gonna wear like something loose, really comfortable. And the only dress that I could find that actually fit me was one that I take on vacation, which all seems great, but this isn't quite ready for real estate. So I was planning on clipping this here, right? Making it a little more professional and then putting a blazer on, but I forgot how big these sleeves are. And I was looking at this outfit and I was like, I kind of think I look like I'm gonna get on a yacht right now and not go sell a luxury property. So this, no go. All right, so option two. Now this is kind of a go-to for me. I love crisp white pants. I always feel like it's really clean, really professional. And I love these pants. Um, The thing about them that is fantastic is I wore them my whole pregnancy. 
and I pair it with a blue um, button up blouse, also really professional. You know, I was gonna do gold flats because I felt like in case there were stairs or anything, I'd be good to go. The problem is that. So this has a postpartum band to it. And if I needed to reach something or grab anything, I just, I don't know about you, but I feel like this isn't the right look for a luxury property or any listing really for that matter. So this outfit wasn't gonna work either. So I was like, what else do I have in my closet? And here we go, option three. So this is actually what I ended up going with. And honestly, I just felt so confident. I put it on and I thought, this is it. This is the one where I could go rock it and feel like me. So I want to break the outfit down for you because, you know, it's obviously a little bit of a looser top, but that's just where I feel most comfortable right now. It's about owning and embracing your body, who you are, where you're at in the current season you are, and this is me. So I have this oversized kind of poncho. I actually usually wear it when I go on an airplane, but I found it and I thought this is really comfortable. Now, obviously with the other ones, the side was an issue because these are maternity jeggings. What are jeggings? They're leggings and jeans. So it's maternity jeggings. So obviously I have, right? Like I still have the postpartum tummy. So I have the band up here and my way to cover it is I just put a black tank top on because obviously I can't be like, hi, I'm going to sell your house. I'm going to move my arms, right? But this is the outfit that I just felt really good in. And then I decided I was going to pop on some heels, which they're really my most comfortable heels that I have. And I will tell you all was good until I had to walk down the steep driveway. Then I was like, please don't have me fall. And I didn't, it was a close one. And they were kind of like, you're going really slow. Are you okay? And I was like, yeah, I just haven't been in heels in a while. I owned it. It's okay to own who you are and where you're at, you guys. We all go through different seasons, different stages in this business. And I will tell you, people are going to work with you because they like you, because of who you are and how you make them feel. So this was the award-winning outfit. And by award-winning, I mean, you know, I got the listing.